Let's get the uh, sports rue out of the way. Uh, the Celtics pounded the Mavs last night, game one of the NBA Finals. Take anything from that? Uh, other than Kyrie was awful. Uh, well, oh, for Porzingis, six from behind like, the line. The health of Porzingis yeah. is what you took from it, isn't it? That he was doing things athletically yeah. that you weren't sure that he would be able to do. He was making shots. He was just like, everything he was throwing up, especially the first half of that game, it was going in. I was, listen, I've been one that has been unimpressed at times at the intensity that you see from the Celtics. I, there was a lull for a little bit last night, but their defense was spot on. They played hard. Jalen Brown is just a monster. Yeah, like he's dribbling actually better now, yes, too. Yes, he is. Like right. the, what, that dunk he had. But, but like, Porzingis blocking shots and yeah. dunking the basketball. I know he made the, those threes that you're talking about, but the athleticism that he showed with the bad, it's the calf, right? I think so. It, it, that Those were the plays, to me, that were impressive. Like, he's backing up and still able to block the shot. And, and if he's that good, I know he's not going to make all those shots, but if he's that good athletically, yeah, that they're going to be tough to beat. I still, I still, I'm think, not changing my opinion. I I'm still scared. think Dallas is going to give them a really good game too, I and said, it's going to be much better. Yeah, I, I said Mavs in seven yesterday. I'll stand by it. Kyrie was awful, six of nineteen from the field, zero for six from behind the arc. He Had can't just two play assists. worse. Yeah, he can't play. He can't play. That's a good point. He can't play worse. Collectively, from behind the arc, they were awful. Do we so. know what happened to Luca early when he asked out? I don't know. He's been dealing with a knee issue for, you know, the, the better part of the last half of the postseason. So I, that I'm not sure of. Uh, I, I kept wondering whether or not Kid was going to take them out sooner because that wasn't a game. Especially if you're, uh, you know, you're banged up and if you're, you're Kyrie and you're not playing well. Uh, game two is Sunday. Uh, they've spread this thing out quite a bit, so yeah. uh, you get what you want. But uh, whatever. Uh, what other what other uh, sports things do I really have for you? Not many. Told you that uh, Justin Tucker was, you know, giggling and saying, "Hey, I got a, bu a bulk up because of the new kickoff rules." I heard Carmen and uh, Meller talking about it. I, I don't know what to expect from the kickoffs in, in the NFL this year. I really don't. I, I'm I'm not going to rail against it. I don't care. I'm up for anything, but I just don't. To wait and see. I don't see. know what to see. You know, I don't you, know what you we're going to see. Shea had some good stuff about it this morning because he said that there's less returning in the UFL than there was last year in the NFL. Really? And and this is the UFL rule. So in, in last year, before the rule change, he said there were more touchdowns returned. Interesting. Uh, by the way, uh, today was the day when uh, Danny Hurley and the Lakers were supposed to meet. Uh, that report came out early, like 10 o'clock. I don't, I have not heard or seen anything. Um, it's only 2.37 there, so they could yeah. still be negotiating. Um, I, I'm still, I'm still doubting that he's. Really? Yeah. Have you heard why. some of the numbers that they're talking like, about? Uh, between 150 and 200 million? It's well, if that's the case, I mean. That's what I mean. That's like, how do you turn that down? Well, you can't if that's the case. But I, I, I don't, I'm interested to see the fit. In fact, I hope he goes because I'll, it will, for me, it will make the Lakers even more interesting to see how they, they, they work together. Yeah. But we'll see. Yankees, uh, Juan Soto is dealing with left forearm inflammation. Hmm. Hmm. No structural damage, but uh, uh, he has got some forearm issues. Not sure how that happens. Um, how about this? Uh, do you have a uh, tooth toothbrush cap on your toothbrush? Do you put cap on it? I don't. I well, don't. I, Should I? No. This could actually increase uh, the germs and the bacteria. It's That's well, what I always felt. Yeah. Like, I feel like Listen, it airs out better. First of all, better. the human mouth is, is like a sewer. Yeah. Like, you got more bacteria. No not doubt. you, everyone in general. Uh, just filthy. Uh, just a haven for bacteria. Uh, toothbrush covers seem to serve a noble purpose, you'd think, protecting us from uh, all those poo particles in the, uh, in the bathrooms, right? No, those covers are supposed to keep us safe from so-called splash from the bathroom. But, uh, in fact, they may be the ba uh, the bacteria collectors that you were... Oh, so, like, the, the particles are on the plastic and yes. then the plastic then goes... Yeah, so. you, you don't... It's not protecting you at all. This is what I do. I brush my teeth, 
and then I rinse my toothbrush and I rinse it off under hot water. And sometimes I'll oh, give it the hot water treatment when I before I brush like my that, teeth. That 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 helps more than the cold water. Scalding hot water maybe kills a little bit of the bacteria. Maybe maybe not, but kind of feeling that way. So that's that's what I'm doing. When did uh, when did the uh, the Yankees have an effect on the New York Police Department? Because a uh, new story came out that uh, cops have been told to trim their hair, ditch their beards, and their goatees. So New York Police Department. Oh, I was Department. wondering what, what you meant. Yeah, well, the Yankees. Well, I mean, why it's still this? a Yankee thing, right? Yeah, why is that? Well, I well, don't well, know. What does a clean, uh, a clean shaven uh, police man have to, or woman have to do with? <laughs> uh, what, is, what is that? You've had a couple doozies today. Which is great. What, what, was Which the, is great. what was the one earlier? Uh, I'm not going to say it. Were you just trying to goad me into saying it? Do you remember what it was? I do. Yeah. What was... Um, the New York Police Department is going back to its clean-cut ways, banning beards just four years after it decided to allow them. The rule, which follows a recent crackdown on sloppily dressed cops does not apply to undercover officers or those who have been granted religious or medical exemptions. Well, I don't understand why a, a beard makes you look sloppier. I don't believe that's true. That's old either. school thinking. Yeah, I'm not sure. How about serve and protect? Yes. How about that? How about we do that? Uh, Kevin Costner's, have you seen all of the advertisements for his, um, his new movie? Uh, this is the Western, right? Isn't it? He's got the weird mustache. It's, uh, a, it's a very odd mustache. Yeah, so he could not be a member of the uh, the New no. York Police Department. This is days. this is the you had the mustache talk a couple weeks ago. I don't believe he wears the mustache well. Kevin Costner's big budget Horizon, an American saga, chapter one, hit tracking on Tuesday with one major service putting its domestic opening at twelve million dollars, give or take. Cost him a hundred million to make. Yeah. I, it, I think he I think he handles a mustache just fine. Oh no. Absolutely really? not. Terrible. I'm looking at I, I, really I think he's a handsome guy. Like he's a haircut, handsome man. The haircut is probably I think more off putting than the mustache. Let me look. Like, I, I I I just think it looks it doesn't it's not becoming a yeah, not good. Uh he actually put 38 million of his own own money into the project. 38 mil. You did know, a twelve million dollar domestic opening. This, this had a lot to do too with uh, the fallout at Yellowstone, didn't it? I want to know when Yellowstone's coming back. My wife asked me that yesterday. Well, I, just, I don't he's know. Not, he's not coming back. Well, the to story it, is was it? is that Matthew McConaughey was going to take over the role, or was going to take over the lead. Not sure. Not he was him play though. Him. He wasn't going to play. Yeah, right. I don't like when they do that. When they pull the same character just I don't with a different see that actor. Either. But uh, I would, I'd like, to, I like Matthew McConaughey, so I'd like to see him be. I, I, I liked the show, so I didn't want it to completely go away. That's what I'm trying to say. This story, I've had this one for a while, and the only reason I bring it up is because this was something as a child I wanted badly. Give me like a toy. Me, would like? Well, it's what? not so much toy. Could be a weapon, but as you a were a BB gun. Good guess. Kind of in the same, a throwing star. <laughs> what? No, you're None the chucks. No, you you get you keep going. You, you come on. You know you wanted one when you were a kid. A weapon that's yes. not nunchucks. That's not a throwing star. Uh, that's not a BB gun. As, as a kid, taking down a giant with it. Oh, a down. slingshot. Yes. Didn't you want a slingshot when you were a kid? Uh, no. no. I think the BB gun was more like okay. the thing. Well, anyway, an 81-year-old man who and uh, investigators say terrorized a Southern California neighborhood for years with a slingshot has been arrested. Couldn't you make your own slingshot you with could. a stick? You, you, and then a rubber band or something? That's yeah. what my dad's got from yeah. when he was a teen. Yeah. You can make your own slingshot. You think you could? Well, yeah. I mean, you, really? what does it take? You How? think your slingshot's going to work? Mr. Uh, Mr. Handyman over yeah. there. Yeah, I can make a slingshot. I don't think you can. I'm going to do it this weekend. No, you're not. Put it up on social media. No, you're media. not. No, yeah. you're not. You, you know, you're going to be tired, and you're not going to be able to do it. Well, a slingshot's easy to make. No, it's not. Yes, it not is. Not a good one. You watch. No chance. Where are you going to get? Are you going to get the leather pouch? Or get what a are little, you going to do? You're going to get, get a little cloth. Yeah, you're going to take a little cloth. 
how are you going to harden it to make sure that it's, it can handle the stone? You wait. Uh, did you see this as well? No 4th of July fireworks in Chicago this year? Why, is it a budget thing? Uh, City's offered no explanation. But we want to build a $6 billion stadium and we can't do fireworks? City has offered no explanation, but reminds residents that Navy Pier holds its twice a week fireworks display every Wednesday and Saturday through Labor Day, including Wednesday, July 3rd and Saturday, July 6th. But here's what we want to do. We want to demolish Soldier Field. We're going to yeah. want to make it a park. I, and then just right there down, down the grassy knoll, yeah. we want to build a new stadium that's enclosed for $6 billion. I didn't know this, but I guess this has been the case for several years that no fireworks. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's all changed. It used to be like a, a July 3rd fireworks display. Right. And then that's when Taste of Chicago was going on, and there used to be, like, big concert going on. At, like, it used to be as big as anything. Now it's nothing. Did you participate in the celebration of National Donut Day? No, I did not. Did I you do. two drunken younger slobs decide that you're going to have, like, Four or five donuts today? I did not. No. I should have, though. If I had known it was National Donut Day, I would have. Um, I think Where these, have you been? these national days of stuff are, they're overbearing. What I'm do you it I'm bring, bad. Why? I just think it's Too silly. It's silly. Every day's got it. It's, hey, it's National Pie Day. If I want pie, I'll have it today. And if it's not National Pie Day tomorrow, I'll have pie tomorrow, too. Well, well you're talking about it now. And now maybe someone says, ooh, the donut. I feel like a donut. So it's a big marketing scam. You could, if you could have any donut, what kind of donut? Glazed. Glazed? Always been a glazed donut fan. Chocolate with sprinkles. Really? Yeah. I, I'm weird. I like the powdered donuts. No, nah, that's not weird. That's kind of how I grew up. All right. The there donut. we go. The powdered donut that melts yeah. in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Big Cat was saying. It's very, cake very good. Cake donut with the, uh, the frosting and the sprinkles. Good cake donut. Boy, that's a lot, though. Like, I know. A donut's already going to fill you up, but when that's you go dessert. cake donut with, yeah. with sprinkles... I know, you're not a dessert guy. Oh, no, that's a breakfast thing. I mean, like, do you have one of those for breakfast? I don't have dessert for dinner. I'm not going to have it for breakfast. You know, do, do, uh, donuts are making their way on um, the dessert menu in a lot of restaurants. Because they're cheaper to make? I don't know if it's because they're cheaper, but a lot of... A lot of places serve up the hot donuts for their dessert. Get your hot donut here. Uh, when we're uh, when we come back, guess what? Uh, I think it's Jack's turn to uh, find a good Florida or Ohio story. So the bar is set high. Jack, are you up to it? I mean, I'm not sure. I hope so. A lot yeah. of newbies when they do it, they like say, "A oh, coconut fell from a tree." Yes, or, Florida or Ohio. Or they give us a story that we had four Florida or Ohio episodes ago.